السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, in my days in الحلمية at my childhood I was affected positively by many young women who were, uh, became either widows or divorcee and managed to bring a very solid families and very capable young people. Uh, one of them was living at the basement of the house and she had four children and she was working as a washer, washing clothes at home. Her daughter was uh, a nurse and her elder son was ironing the clothes in a shop. But with the dedication of the mother as a widow, she managed to bring the two young children to become two medical doctors qualified from Cairo University. The second family, which has affected me very much with the character and the hospitality of the mother, were actually living in the same house again as my auntie, and they're actually from Nuba. And they were so kind, and she taught me how to be kind to people, considerate to people, smiling all the time, uh, receptive all the time, and having this kind of excellent character, which was the character of the people of the South uh, Egypt. The third one was actually uh, living on the top floor and she was working as a sister in the uh, Cairo University Medical School, Qasr al -Aini. And she was originally Christian but she became a Muslim. And she had this kind of very joyful character wherever she used to come to our house, to our flat, and we were surrounding her as anti considering it as anti Saadiyya. Uh, when she was nursing one of her patients, he was uh, the uh, chairman of the board of one of the big companies in Cairo, and he fell in love with her because of her su superior character, her excellent character. And they married, and she had four children from him, but he unfortunately died when the children were young. And the family, of course, you know, the family in the South Egypt at the time, denied her children from having the inheritance of their father, but she managed to bring on a single woman, uh, I mean widow, uh, the four children, uh, two of them became medical doctor, and the third one will become engineer, I can't remember the fourth one. Another two families also, which were actually either divorcee or widows, one of them managed with her mother to bring up young four children who became qualified from university, and the other one, two young children who were qualified from the university as well. So those five families who were surrounding me led me to believe that how valuable is the role of woman in our society, and how valuable is the role of woman of my mother, my auntie, my grandma, my sister, my daughter, and my wife. The last and not least family is, was from the north of Cairo, a place called Tanta, and her name was Auntie Zahira. And she was not educated because she has to be married at a younger age, but she decided. She decided because she loved education. She decided to study with her children. The, primary, the preparatory, and the secondary school, and she managed to have the three certificate with her children. My message to you now is to look at the crucial role of our women in society as a community leader, as a community builder, as empowering power of building the future of the future generation that are going to lead the country. So this is what we are lacking nowadays and we hope that the woman will have more positive role in managing our society. Thank you very much for watching the video and please activate the notification bell and share it with your friends.